Welcome back. Whether for fishing or water sports, Pineview is one of the most popular destinations for boaters in the state. Yeah, but many complain of rising reservoir rates with nothing to show for it. Well, the case investigators got an up close look at all the problems and found out just how your money is being spent. So it's been a pretty good day. The fishing's been good. When the fish are biting. Gotten two so far and lost, what, four of them? Yeah. Lake life is the good life. It's, it's really a gem. It's a very special place. The premier tiger muskie fishery in the state of Utah. Clark Bailey and Nick Renato come to Pineview primarily for these guys. But while the ever elusive tiger muskie lurk beneath the surface. Yeah, it's definitely frustrating. Boaters face other challenges on shore. Kind of from start to finish, you have issues. Specifically at Port Ramp, the main boat launch at Pineview Reservoir. Boaters complain there are lots of problems, like a sidewalk that's falling apart. Basically falling off the side of the hill. A dock system that's subpar. Concrete cinder blocks submerged in the water. You can damage your prop, you can damage your boat. And one of the biggest issues of all. It really violently vibrates your, your equipment as you're going in and out. Is the ramp itself. I've heard of people breaking axles on here. On top of that, the price of admission is going up. Two years ago, the cost for an annual launch pass at Pineview was $150. Well, last year, that was bumped up to $175. This year, it's 197 bucks. I think the consensus is, you know, if we if if they're going to require a $197 annual launch pass, then, you know, they just need to justify that. One more thing here, that $197 annual fee is double what you'd pay at Bear Lake, Flaming Gorge, and Jordanelle. The difference is those are state run and Pineview is federal. I know the expectations and everything else. We're working on this as fast as we can. I'm pretty sure that Sean Harwood is a district ranger who oversees Pineview Reservoir. He says back in January 2019, the Forest Service hired a management company called Utah Recreation Company. URC sets the fees and are in charge of maintenance and projects here. I mean, you can't fix things overnight. All right, so where are the fees going? Well, the KSL investigators asked the Forest Service for those records. They couldn't give them to us because URC does not provide a breakdown. However, they say the money goes towards operation, maintenance, and projects. We have big plans, and URC is a huge part of them. The two other launch sites at Pineview have seen improvements. Cemetery Point's boat ramp was repaired this season, and Anderson Cove got new restrooms, but nothing at Port Ramp. So we see some improvements, just not here. <laughs> now, if you ask our fishermen, they believe improvements are being made at the other sites because they bring in the added money. Watercraft rentals at Cemetery Point and new glamping tents at Anderson Cove. But Harwood says that is simply not true. No, absolutely not. This is one of the tent sites right here. Instead, he said the issues date back to a different management company. So for the last 20 years, you know, we've put band-aids on things and we're going to get it done, but it's going to take some time. Harwood says Port Ramp will get a new dock next spring. And while they're at it, they'll also clean up those cinder blocks. But no word yet about any improvements to the most used ramp at Pineview. I would say, hold on, it's coming. It's a promise. These fishermen hope. You know, we're hoping, you know, something can change and things can be improved. The Forest Service can keep. Forest Service believes Utah Recreation Company has done a good job over the past three years, but again, there is a lot to catch up on. They also have millions of dollars in federal grant money coming and say that will help them with a lot of improvements to Pineview over the next five to 10 years, we shall see.